Welcome into another edition of Outside the SEC with LT. I'm Lance Taylor from Lance'sLock.com and the Jocks Roundtable. As you know, each and every week we take a look at three games away from the Southeastern Conference. Not only will we break these games down, we will also try to give you winners against the number in Las Vegas. We're coming off a solid 2-1 in Week 2, and we still chase that 3-0 here in Week 3. We will also give you a little local bonus flavor at the end, so make sure you stay tuned for that. First, we start with an early Rocky Mountain matchup between Air Force and Colorado. These two have not met since 1974, and the Buffs own an all-time 12-4 record against the Falcons. The Mel Tucker era has started nicely in Boulder at 2-0 as his program is coming off an incredible 34-31 overtime win over Nebraska in a game they trailed 17-0 at the half. Steven Montez is a gutty quarterback with a lot of experience, and he will now face a well-rested Air Force squad coming off a bye after destroying FCS Colgate in Week 1. In that game, Troy Calhoun's Falcons rolled up 423 yards on the ground and only attempted one pass. 14 starters returned for this Air Force team that I believe could be Calhoun's best and make noise this year in the Mountain West. I look for the Buffaloes to come in flat and Air Force to keep this one close. Give me the dog plus the four. Next, we stay out west for a 2:30 ABC matchup between newly ranked USC and BYU. Both of these teams had surprising moments in week two as BYU shocked Tennessee in overtime 29-26 as Clay Helton's backup quarterback Keaton Slovis was flawless, going 28 of 33 for 377 and three touchdowns in a 45-20 beatdown of Stanford. This is a tough game, but it's also the first career road start for Slovis. Couple that with BYU being able to match up with USC up front, and I think this one goes to the wire with Cougar quarterback Zach Wilson playing well. I'll take the home team here and plus the four and a half. Our next stop is in Ames for the annual Cyhawk Trophy game between Iowa and Iowa State. The Hawkeyes hold the all-time edge in this one 44-22, and Iowa State has lost three straight in this rivalry at home. This one comes down to quarterback play, and although Nate Stanley has been good for Iowa early in 2019 with almost 500 yards and six touchdowns, I like Brock Purdy in this matchup. The sophomore quarterback is now 7-2 as a starter for Matt Campbell, and I think he will be the difference in this one. Give me the Cyclones plus 2.5. So there you go. Three dogs today and are outside the SEC with Air Force, BYU, and Iowa State. But I did promise you a little local bonus, so we take a look at number two Alabama heading to Columbia to take on South Carolina. Since Alabama's upset loss the last time they played the Gamecocks, the Tide has beaten 24 consecutive SEC East opponents. South Carolina has a new quarterback and freshman Ryan Holinsky, who's coming off an impressive debut where Will Muschamp's bunch put up 775 yards of total offense and 72 points against Charleston Southern. Obviously, this is a totally different animal with this Alabama team, and I go back to week one in this Gamecock team, giving up 238 yards rushing and late drives of 98 and 95 yards en route to a loss to UNC in a true freshman quarterback. This Alabama offense comes in rolling and although they didn't cover the huge number of 56 versus New Mexico State, I feel good about laying 25 here on the road. Give me the tide and a major beatdown. There you go. Three plays outside of the SEC and one play in state with Alabama. Good luck. Have a great weekend and please check us out. Lance'sLog.com or weekdays from 6 to 10 on the Jocks Roundtable on 94.5 in Birmingham. I'm Lance Taylor and this has been Outside the SEC with LT.